Good day everybody, welcome to another GeoGuessr video. Now last time, last week, uh, it was only last week, I think it was Sunday, um, I tried again to get a good score on the US GeoGuessr map. Failed miserably, it has to be said. Um, but today is going to be something different. I'm going to dispense with the country maps. I'm going to try a new, um, or a fairly new format that they've got on called the Map Runner. So, without further ado, let's put you on there. Let's bring up the Map Runner. So the idea of this is, that I've played it a couple of times, although I think they may have updated it since even when I last played it a couple of months ago. Um, you get little stepping stones. Hang on. Let me adjust the, I'm sure I adjusted this camera perfectly last time. It's gone funny again. No, no, no. Is that gonna hold? That might hold. Is that better? That's better. Yes, there we go. So, as I was saying, you get little stepping stones uh, towards your goal, and um, I'm going to give it a go, see if it's changed a bit. Uh, let me just put it in full screen. Play, next, run, go. We're in the UK, okay. That's good. Okay, so here you go. Here are the rules. Choose your own path by selecting a card in front of you and make it to the finish line before you run out of energy. Collect power-ups along the way and use them at tricky locations. Complete a run to unlock a new country to explore. The more you play, the more countries you'll be able to discover. It's decided that I'm starting off in the UK because <laughs> I'm, I'm literally physically there right now. Um, so let's give it a go. So uh, there's lots of different uh, modes, uh, or not modes, Game mode, yeah, game modes that you can play through. Uh, this one's called Flags, so I've got to find out where in the UK this flag is, and it's in Shetland. Brilliant. So we're all the way up here. Now, what town in Shetland? I don't know. I imagine it's the capital, which I can't remember the name of, but I'm sure as soon as I see it on the uh, on the map. No, not ringing any bells. Okay. We're in Shetland anyway. Lerwick or Lerick. Lerwick. There we go. I knew I'd recognise it. Um, there it is. I'm assuming that we are on this bit here, which is there. And a sticky outy bit. What's the uh, name of the shop? Anderson and Company, the Shetland Warehouse. I can move, can't I? Yeah, I can move. Okay. Uh, there's one sticky outy bit. We're on a corner. So maybe there. Although there's no buildings there. There, maybe. Do you know what? It's. Oh, I've got a minute and a half. Okay, I've got a minute and a half to find out exactly where I am. So there's a road, a sticky out, uh, a pier, pontoon, I don't know whatever you call it, up there. And then it turns inland. Quite sharply, actually. Um, so maybe there, then. Is that it? Anderson and something or other? You can't go back to the beginning. Oh, you can go back to the beginning. Anderson and Company. Anderson and something or other. Yeah, I'm going to guess there. 32 yards away and we've got 5,000 points. Excellent. Oh, there's Anderson and Company. They must be connected, the solicitors and the, and the clothing shop. Brilliant. Okay. So I get some free energy, although I haven't actually lost any, and we're on to cities. Which city are we in? LGR, ah, Leeds, I recognise this road. Um, for those of you that don't know, I spent four years of my life living in Leeds. Okay, that is fairly easy. Uh, that's the town hall, which is there. We were just past it on East Parade. Go back to the beginning. 
I thought I recognised it when it came up, but I wasn't 100% sure, because that building there, I think, is the court building. Um, between my house and, and the railway station, you one way to go was to walk past the court building. Um, didn't go in, thankfully. Never, never had a uh, cause to go in. I think that's pretty much pretty much there. Yeah, I reckon so. Oh, hang on. Ah, no, wrong street. Courts there. Guess there. I was just around the corner from where my first guess was. To be fair, I haven't been to, although I spent four years living there, I haven't been back to Leeds since 2016, so uh, nearly ten years now, well, seven. Uh, and we finished a run in the UK, a flag and a city. What country are we going to unlock? Ireland, Spain or the US? Hmm. Well, Ireland tempts me because it's closer to the UK. I've never actually been there. But I have done a lot of practice on the US GeoGuessr map. I don't want to go for Spain. God, this is like who wants to be a millionaire, isn't it? I, I don't want to go for Spain. By the way, that's a GeoGuessr. That's a gross oversimplification of the Spanish flag. Oh, it's a good job I'm not Spanish and I get offended by that. Uh, let's go Ireland. Unlocked Ireland. Okay, next run. UK and or Ireland. Okay, capitals. So this is going to be either London or Dublin. And judging by the road size, this is Dublin. Brilliant. Uh, it's a residential part of Dublin, so I'm guessing it won't be the very centre. Um, let's click down there for now. Let's see if we can find a main road. Because this just looks like, yeah, this is just a housing estate, isn't it? Very distinctive building. I went the wrong way. That's a dead end. Fantastic. Try this way. Main road anywhere? Anywhere got a main road. Oh, no. There's a small roundabout, but no main road. School, school, school. I can look out for a school. Bishop Galvin National School. Ah, it's by far from my best idea, but... Bishop Galvin, an area of Ireland, uh, of Dublin, do we think? Or I mean, it, the likely. I mean, Ireland is a fairly religious country. I know that so much. So it's probably named more after a person than an area, isn't it? Um, do you know what? Let's just go there. I'm never going to get it. Oh, well, I got the city right. I lost 49 points. We were in the south. Ironically, if I'd have left it where I first clicked, which was over here somewhere, I'd have been closer and probably wouldn't have lost any points. But there we go. But I get 2,000 points back. So I'm back at max level. Okay, flags or cities? I'm more likely to recognise a city than a flag. So let's go for cities. And good, we're on in the UK. Camden clothing, is that a red herring? Are we in Camden? Easy way to find out. Where are the bus stops? We're not in Camden. Uh, I suspect we might be in Dublin again then. They've got dual language signs. So yes, this is... An Irish city, not necessarily Dublin, but I wouldn't be surprised if it is. Camden Street. Um, 
Little Museum of Dublin. We are in Dublin again. Uh, this is a fairly central area. Quite clearly, we're looking for Camden Street. Uh, why am I zooming into the UK? Force of habit. Temple Bar. There was a sign pointing towards Temple Bar there, wasn't there? Temple Bar is straight on, and straight on is north. So... So, looking for an area of shops, possibly this one. International, did I see an international school of English? I did. Uh, yeah, there, we're exactly right outside of it. Oh, I hate the map wouldn't zoom, the map zooms out. Okay. That's it then. Go. I don't suspect I'm going to lose any points from this. No, and I didn't. Excellent. And we're at next run done. What's it going to suggest this time? What will it suggest? Greece, Spain or Portugal? Brilliant. Okay. Well, it looks like on each run you get one particular country, unless that was just a complete coincidence that we've got uh, Ireland twice there. Let's go with Greece, because they've got different uh, alphabet to us, so at least I can, you know, tell what country it's in. Go. UK, Ireland and Greece is beginning to look like Eurovision. Uh, world or cities? Cities. We're in the UK, that's an MS. <laughs> that's obvious. I think this might be Cambridge. In fact, I'm certain it is. I don't even need to look. I know exactly where that is. Uh, the benefits of being born there and going there fairly regularly. We are there. I don't even need to look at the map. Yep, Sydney Street. Walked down that street hundreds of times. Thank you, cities, you did me well. Right, add a direction marker. Place this on the guest map to show the direction and the correct to the correct location. Power it's going to only be using the runs they collected in. Okay. Capitals or famous places. I've got six minutes and forty seconds for these. These are going to be a bit more tricky. Um, let's go famous places. Oh come on, seriously. I don't need any power-ups. This is going to be the quickest search I've ever done. We're right slap bang in the middle of Westminster Bridge. There you go. Easy. And that's that run done. So I've lost my power-up, presumably. <laughs> okay, next one lock. Sweden, Switzerland or Canada? Should we go outside of Europe? I said last round this is beginning to look like Eurovision. Should we go with Canada? They're not in Eurovision yet, I'm sure. Um, yeah, let's go with Canada. Let's see what happens. The un only downside with Canada is it's a flipping big area to search when I get lost. <coughs> okay. So I don't do, oh, I've got to do capitals. Um, there's a Tesco, so this has got to be Tower Hamlets. Gotcha, right. Tower Hamlets is North East London, I believe. Where is it? Oh, I should know this. I should know this. It's by Tower. Uh, is it too much to say that it's probably by the Tower of London? I don't know this bit of London terribly well. Um, I'm in Big Crane. Uh, workplace community. Containerville. Okay, they're building them out of shipping containers. Well, that's a nice way of recycling things, isn't it? Um, 
haven't got a clue really apart from the rough area people would probably be offended that I call Tower Hamlets North East London it's East London really North East London would be like up, up here um, East London I reckon it's round Whitechapel uh, let's see if we can get to a more famous spot oh there's a map that will help us out <clears throat> Hackney Road, yeah. Not a huge help if I'm honest. Because Hackney's up here. I know that. I've got family links there. Oh, Hackney's there. Um, yeah, let's just go here. Can't be that far away, can it? There you go. Oh, Cambridge Heath. I should have known that. I lost three points, but never mind. We carry on. Now I don't think I need to refresh my energy, I've got 9,997 and you can't have more so I'll have a direction marker please and we'll go for famous places, oh seriously? Just want to get a power up, I want to be able to flip and use it, right, there. That's a bit of London I actually know. Okay. I don't have a choice to refresh my energy, but I've got it anyway. Go for flags. This is in Canada. Outside a park, maybe a golf course. Don't know. But our first trip outside of Europe. Well, actually, our first trip outside of the British Isles. Um, I apologise to any Irish people, that's a geographic term, I'm not saying that you're part of the UK because you certainly are not. Um, Ireland is just geographically a member of the British Isles. Mackay Street, Sussex Drive. Now, the fact that it's dual language suggests we're in the French speaking area maybe? Which is uh, Quebec isn't it mainly uh, let's have a look around it's quite nice around here actually um, now was this around capitals or just cities because if it was capitals this this is Ottawa presumably or Ottawa, not entirely sure how you pronounce it, um, which is in the French speaking area, so it does make sense. And there's a big river. Do I just go with the fact that this might be the bridge that we're looking at? This one or that one? Well, those are residential streets nearby. Is there any other bridges? There's a footbridge or a railway bridge over there. A footbridge over there. Sort of opens up into almost like a lagoon, so maybe we're here. Or there. That might be more likely. It's further out, isn't it? I don't know, I've got 30 seconds. It was near a bridge. There. Take a guess. Oh, well, I got the right city anyway. We were over here. What bridge were we on then? Must have been this one. It was a smaller river than I thought. I thought it was this big one. Anyway, lost 21 points. Not a problem. Oh, it's famous places. Well, given the fact that I didn't recognise it, it clearly wasn't. Oh, no, it was flags. Sorry. Uh, great work. Okay, I get to choose another category. What countries are they going to offer me? 
France, Poland, or the US Midwest? Well, given the fact that I've been to France quite a few times, let's pick France. Okay. Next round. Oh, they've taken out Canada. Okay. Fine. Internet domains. That is... Impossible. Where does it? Where's the internet domain on this? I mean, it's quite clearly UK or Ireland. I can't really tell by the moment. I, my gut feeling is probably Ireland, but this is just yeah, it's Ireland. This camera quality is appalling. Oh, that's much better. We're in Dublin again, by the river. Which I'm guessing is the River Liffey or Liffey, or I'm not 100% sure how you pronounce it. Um, is that a footbridge or okay, that's a footbridge. I'm guessing it was probably the Millennium Bridge. Well, it looks older than that, doesn't it? Anyway, that's a footbridge. That's probably this one. Yeah, look, there's steps there. Where were we? Return to start. We were by that bridge, just a bit further down, facing south, so we're on the north bank. There, do we reckon? Let's just face north. I can't make out what that says. Yeah, I'm gonna go with it. Not bad. In fact, pretty much perfect. Go. Excellent. Direction marker. Got one of those. What have I got on my backpack? One direction marker. Flags or cities? Cities, please. Footwear head closed. This is the UK looks very much like London again yeah oh no Manchester Piccadilly Plaza okay Manchester Piccadilly station I think is that one yeah I've caught the train from there a couple of times uh, we're looking for the Britannia Hotel which can't be that far away from the train station. Can it? Maybe it can. <laughs> Maybe it can. Um, you'd have thought it would stick out. Britannia Hotel, there you go. Um, Going back there, back to the beginning. That is something road or something street, can't tell. George Street. Oh, and it zoomed out again. Come on. George Street, yeah, there, go. Perfect, 15 yards, carry on. Get energy that I don't need and go for the world, which based on the fact that was it Greece or France or Ireland other than the UK this is one way street so it's not telling us very much but from the way that they are parked that's the UK police maybe Scotland okay fine if you don't mind me saying Scotland You've got much prettier places, but we'll go with it. Scotland. I mean, I don't want to stereotype places, but I'm going to have to go Glasgow. I'm sorry, Glasgow, but, you know, you've got a reputation. You have got a reputation. Uh, whether it's well-deserved or not, who am I to say? But, yeah, it's going to have to be Glasgow, isn't it? 
Uh, let's go down here. Well, I'm very sad to say that my hunch paid off. It was indeed Scotland's second city, Glasgow. Anyway, carry on. Run finished. I didn't get a drink list. Oh, Turkey, Sweden, or Spain. Which one am I going to more easily identify? Spain, I reckon, so we'll go with that. Now, what I'm saying is I didn't bring a drink in today because I didn't anticipate being online for so long. Um, but it's currently been, oh, it doesn't say how long it's been, but it's been, oh, yes, it does, 25 minutes. So, my decision is I either stop here, get a drink, or I pause, get a drink, carry on. Well, based on the fact that this was supposed to be a short video, <laughs> let's stop at 25 minutes, 26 minutes, shall we? And um, I'll come back to this some other day and go and get a drink right back to the camera. Thank you very much for joining me. I've quite enjoyed this new um, feature they've got on GeoGuessr, particularly the way, let's go back to that. Oh, you can't see it. Let's go. Uh, Do you know what? I just realised when I go to this, it cuts out the picture of me, but it also cuts out my sound. So if I click this, I disappear. Isn't it? I can just disappear, appear, appear, disappear. Well, that was a black screen temporarily. I don't know what happened there. But what I was going to say is when I next go to it, you can see my little NPC character doing this. Actually, you don't need him there. I could just do it. Enough messing around. I've taken up too much of your time. I shall see you some other time. See ya.